Hello everyone. Today we're going to discuss about another important financial ratio, which is the working capital ratio. Now, before assuming uh, in which company you want to invest, uh, one more factor of consideration is uh, the liquidity of a company. Now, what is liquidity? Liquidity is basically the capacity of the company to convert its current asset into cash uh, so that it can get rid of its current uh, liability obligations. Right, how fast it can convert its current assets into uh, cash and get rid of all the debts. That's uh, the liquidity capacity of the company. Talking about uh, working capital, now working capital is basically uh, the difference between the uh, current assets of the company minus the current liabilities. Right now, the current assets uh, obviously, the most liquid asset is the cash. Uh, but there there can be other assets also that the company can leverage on obviously we'll discuss about the current assets and liabilities uh, in the coming videos but right now you need to understand that the, uh, the working capital is basically the difference between the current assets minus the current liability of the company now talking about the working capital ratio uh, you simply divide uh, the current assets uh, by the current liabilities of the company uh, let's take an example so let's say there's a company xyz uh, that has the current assets of about 8 million and it has the current liability of 4 million dollars right now when you divide both you will get a working capital ratio of 2 now a working capital ratio of 2 and above is a really healthy ratio right that this means that the company has uh, uh, enough liquid assets to uh, obligate its current debt uh, it can uh, really uh, quickly uh, liquefy its current assets and get rid of the debts uh, so two and above is really healthy uh, and in such scenarios a company is also capable of reinvesting into uh, further projects and if it's really high it's more than two company can even consider giving dividends to its shareholders right anything below <clears throat> two is still dicey but marginally manageable right a working capital ratio of one is like on the brisk uh, companies can still manage their operations but uh, in the worst case, case scenarios uh, obviously they really need to work and improve that for for further operations uh, to take care of their liabilities but two is the benchmark two and above is a really good indicator of a company's health uh, as the company will also have uh, the uh, liquid assets to invest further into various projects and uh, even have the capacity to give dividends to their shareholders i hope you have understand this it's a, it was a very small topic but i think it was really important uh, but uh, going forward with this we will definitely look into uh, liquidity as a separate topic uh, what are current assets current liabilities all those things are also important because obviously not all current assets are as fast to liquefy right as cash is you have properties you have machinery you have uh, other patent uh, patent information so all those things are company's asset but obviously not all can be liquefied so quickly to mm, complete the obligation and similarly all the liabilities don't come under current liabilities and so we'll we'll obviously specify them and we'll try to understand them in detail right but for now i think it was very easy for us to understand this topic and these small financial ratio topics are important to understand a company's health and help you invest better in the future and uh, obviously we'll keep on bringing that to you take care please like subscribe subscribe and share and take care of your health bye